Welcome to Toy Photography Bomb, uh, episode six, uh, and that is B.O.M, which stands for Best of the Month. Uh, yes, I know there's no T in there, but uh, you know, bottom just didn't didn't work as an uh, 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 acronym. So uh, it's bomb. It's bomb. It is what it is. It's my show. Um, which is what my myself. Uh, hi, Trevor, one six shooter. Uh, and my guest toy photographer tonight will share with you our selections for the best toy photography from the community that we saw in January 2024. Uh, first month of January, some good stuff too. I think this is the most stuff um, that we've that we've contributed. I couldn't pare down my selections to less than like eight or nine, and, uh, and neither could my guest. So uh, the, you know, sit tight. <laughs> we got a bunch to go over. Uh, this is not contest or result of voting this is simply our choices based on what came across our feeds uh and in the toy photography bomb uh instagram page right here that's not it there we go okay um so you can tag us here um these are uh, some some photos there's some great stuff here uh this is from uh february so um, archer hawk nice shot nice job man i didn't see this one um, I haven't been here since yesterday, so some good stuff on here. Um, but yeah, you can tag us on here. Uh, we'll take a look at the shots. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at not just stuff here, but all over uh, our, our feed, like I said. Uh, but this is a good place to be seen. And, and if you see something that you like, help, you know, help uh, a brother or a sister out and uh, tag it uh, in their feed, or at least let them know to tag it, uh, to tag uh, Toy Photography Bomb. And uh, maybe they'll get, maybe they'll get featured. Um, now, if you are going to use the tag, make sure it's your best stuff. Tag one, ideally one of your best shots from the month. Uh, you know, we, we're looking at them all the time. We usually don't pick them until, you know, the last day of the month. Um, so, you know, and we, and we look at this, um, we look at the tags all the time. So, you know, even if it's the last day of the month, you can, you still have a chance. Uh, so just make sure it's your best stuff. Don't tag every image that you got. Take a look at what uh, we're showing here on the show and, you know, think about whether it measures up. You know, I mean, if you think it does, great. Tag it and, and let us know about it. Um, if you've seen other artists that you, you're enjoying and you think deserve to be on the show, uh, please let us know in the comments. Um, or, again, tell them to tag us uh, on the, the page. Um, this is meant to focus on things we love. This is not a critique show. Uh, I do do uh, Maz's Toy Box every Tuesday. That'll be on tomorrow night um, at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, where we do critique things, because um, that's what people, I think, want. <laughs> that's, that's what they, that's what they, they put their, their photos in there for. But this is, this is all love. This is um, stuff we think is great, and we're just going to talk about what makes it great and, um, you know, kind of break it down. Uh, what it what it says to us, and hopefully you can learn something from that. Uh, I think you can learn something from looking at great work, and having uh, having someone talk about it, or even just dissecting it yourself. So, uh, learning what to look for uh, when you're looking at photos. So, uh, with that out of the way, uh, let me bring on my guest. He's an amazing photographer and crafter of uh, just crispy, contrasty, gorgeous goodness. Um, shooting everything from six scale to one eighteenth Warhammer and McFarlane Warhammer and everything in between. Um, Mythic Legions. Uh, he makes he makes me hungry. His images like uh, they're they're just I don't know why they're so crispy and they're warm and they're full in depth they're like uh they're like a, a like a deep dish pizza but but much much better than a deep dish pizza deep dish pizza isn't that great um please welcome noir kaiser effects alberto hernandez what's up alberto what's going on man how, how are you, are you? Good, good 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 i'm doing good i'm doing good uh feeling a little like looser i got uh, i got some work coming up but uh i've been able to just shoot some stuff that uh has been sitting in a pile yeah, uh, right here by my desk with other stuff in a pile <laughs> so uh yeah i'm trying to get a little less uptight about stuff um and just and just shoot because that's that's what's fun um you know uh how about you how about what you've been doing lately uh, let's take a look at your stuff let me let me bring your page up actually thank you i had megacon weekend so i got some couple of new pieces from mythic legions because four horsemen were was there and i mm -hmm. get my hands on a valiant knight finally. nice uh, very nice 
others. And some other things, props for photos, man. So oh, yeah? You the Somebody photo, saw- so that was pretty cool. Also, so. Oh, I was going to ask you if you saw any celebrities. They had, a, they had like a mega group of celebrities yeah, there, man. It was awesome. really good. Tom Hayden Hiddleston was there, too. There. Like, yeah. Tom yeah. Hiddleston was there. I, I saw Insane, him last man. Year, and I saw Ewan McGregor this year. And he said, hello there. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> really excited about that. But, I'm hearing my mic is clipping, and they can't hear you, and I don't know why that is. Echo cancellation. I'm just going to do adjust mic volume here. Uh, how about that, Rob? Is that any better? Can you hear me? Let us know. I don't know. Uh, StreamYard's been having problems with uh, sound lately. Uh, I was just doing somebody else's show the other day, and same thing. Much better? Okay. Everybody good? Alberta's Can you hear me? good? All good. All right. Cool. All right. Cool. Uh, let, let me let me just check you. You got echo cancellation automatically. Yeah. All right. You should be good. Hello. All right. Um, let's take a look at your page, my friend. Um, let me bring this up over here. Um, if you're not following Alberto at Noir Kaiser Effects on Instagram, uh, just I mean, again, like like I said, crispy and warm. <laughs> just be, look at the detail in this thing, man. This is this was nuts. Uh, I know we went over this on Maz's show. Um, just so crazy cool, man. I, I love this. Thanks. I love your colors. Um, I love your contrast. Really love your contrast. Um, is that something you consciously do yeah. now? Do you, uh, you have yeah, a system. It's, it's- I have a system you do since, since okay. the beginning, and uh, it's mainly what I, I already have everything set up. I only just what takes me a long time to set up is the lighting. So I do the shadow play, light, a little bit of light painting here and there, but nothing too okay. sophisticated. What really takes the time is to do the the composition and the setup. But the rest is just working around with Lightroom and just to get that crispiness and a little bit of noise and a little bit, of, you know. Make it yeah. a little bit greedy and sharp, but that's about I it. I think that's it. It's you've got some noise in there, which I really like. Uh, I've been playing around with that on a couple of shots too, um, and I like it. I mean, uh, it's not something that I really kind of thought about doing um, and getting like gritty with it, but it is. It does work out for for certain shots. Yeah, you have and, to be uh, careful not to overdo it because you know it'll mess up the thing. But just keep it light wherever you want to put it in, and it, it looks, you know, it. it does that effect for me so everything you see everything in the photo that's that's what i want you and everybody who's seeing the picture look like you know like a painting and appreciate every yeah. fine detail even in the background whatever yeah so you don't absolutely. miss anything yeah and you're yeah, and you get and you get a lot of depth out of these things um it's not always you don't always is there a depth that you shoot at is there an aperture that you shoot at like a lot or f20 is uh... i play from f22 to f16 nothing less than that i always stay with wow that, right? nothing less than f16 no. okay that's 30 so seconds a... uh yeah you're not a very very guy. low very very low <laughs> light yeah so <laughs> Uh, yeah, I can tell that, that I can tell, uh, I can tell from the way you light and just the subtle shades that you get on things. You know, this isn't hot. There's nothing hot here. Um, it's, it's just beautifully done. Um, so what's your like exposure time then? Are you doing like 30 seconds seconds, then? 30 30 seconds. seconds. Wow. 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 I thought I was a long time, man. Holy cow. That's pretty cool. My I photo like shoots are long. That's why I don't post too much lately because uh, it, it takes me a whole, <laughs> takes me a whole four to five hours to do just one shoot to get like five, five to ten frames out of it. So, I was gonna and say then, like yeah, I mean that's two shots a minute. So that's yeah, yeah. That's uh. Then there's like forty five minutes of cleanup because at that, at that shutter speed and uh, at that. You get every particle possible on the figure, so you have to do a like a forty-five minute session of cleaning, and wow. then I work on the Lightroom for the for the noise and That's for awesome. the grain and for the sharpness and textures, wow. basically. Yeah. Do you so just like, like do you do you even do you even breathe while it's while it's shooting? I mean, thirty seconds is a long time. No, I walk <laughs> like away. You don't I want just, anything. I just. <laughs> 
I took your advice and I bought one of those timers. So I just click it and I walk out and have a cigarette, then come back in, and then if there's <laughs> blurs, so it's that. Hey, that's yeah. that's a benefit. You know what I mean? Like you can go get a little snack, you know, while you yeah, and, uh, and you just hear the, the cue goes like click, and then just check it out, and if it's blurry, <laughs> then yeah. So uh, that's here crazy, we go again. Man. So, wow look at the colors on this this is gorgeous uh and you are i gotta tell you like i love the warhammer stuff it's not for me because i just don't want to get into another not, line not or anything and i I'm know i'm planning on sending you something soon so maybe get you no sir thank you no i will <laughs> Uh, I did. I did buy those like those skeleton um, ones from McFarlane because uh, I just thought they'd make cool enemies for like Buck Rogers, and I never did anything with them. And the I re Necrons, recently the, just sold them. The, the Necrons, yeah, 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 yeah. Really cool looking. Um, I could totally get into these in Joy Toy form, but I mean, I was gonna say like you're one of the the few people. I, there's there's other people who do it too, but I I I generally get confused sometimes with these figures because they seem one to blend into the other in some of these shots, especially some of them, the ones with the flags and stuff on their back. Yeah. It's like yeah. When you get a bunch of them together, it's like, where does it, where does it start and end? But I mean, this is clear to me, like right here, like everything is, this is a testament yeah, to your, your contrast. Squad of the same. So yeah, you can, you, I just wanted to have every angle possible of the figure with the same figure. They sent me that, that really early to get a shot at. So. And yeah, so they're sending you stuff now to uh because I noticed you have stuff before anybody else does. We we comment on Mazda. Yeah, show I'm trying to work my way with the store with Flyima, the one who the provider of one uh, awesome. the Joyta over here. So I'm trying to see yeah. if I get something there. Awesome. Oh, that looks great. This is a this is a great looking figure, man. Uh, it's not for me, but this is an incredible looking figure. Yeah, man. Beautiful portrait. This is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. This is the kind of stuff I want to do. Just this is a nice portrait, man. Just like pretty. Yeah, it's just keep it simple, man. No, no, don't stress yourself. That's out. It. You get enough stress with your doing this, and it takes the fun out of it, I suppose, at some point. So, uh, work wise, yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, it's it's work, it's still it's still fun, but you know, yeah, I mean, when when you get a chance to do your own stuff, yeah, um, you know, you don't want to spend, I don't always want to spend like two days on setting something up and moving things around to in and going back and editing and reshooting and re-edit you know what i mean like i just want to kind of take a shot and in a few hours you know edit it and have something to, to pop up so that's what i've been trying to i do. have a thinking process i i have the idea and i try to sometimes put it down on paper when i want to do this and this and oh, then i think about the props i want to put in and then i go looking for those props so it, it takes me a week to get a one shot with the whole thinking process through so really yeah okay i'm not alone yeah. then that that makes me feel good yeah no, sometimes no, no, no. i forget um uh alex uh tora nerd right i'm sorry i'm like yeah tora nerd no that's not tora nerd uh what is it damn it what's his name um toy mirth yeah. toy mirth uh has a system where he has drawers he just throws all his accessories into categorized drawers like food and guns or weapons and then lights and things like that and like like it's all a big mess it makes me nervous just looking at no, it. I'm not got, like, i'm not that like, OCD, how are you so no. <laughs> you're not that ocd okay i need to know like what came with each figure and it needs to be in a separate like drawer yeah, I, I have controlled thing. chaos i have everything in back somewhere i know it's there but it takes me half an hour to find <laughs> it so but at least i know okay. where it is so. <laughs> all right all right um but, uh, may maybe that's better that way because i need to catalog everything i have because sometimes i'll forget yeah, no, like, oh i have like a starbucks cup for something you know what i mean it's somewhere i, find <laughs> it. uh, I this do know is, what my fl um, flame effect and skulls are <laughs> oh all the time the flame effects for sure yeah mm -hmm. um this is do you know do you know bernie wrightson no i didn't artist okay you you got to look up after this bernie wrightson uh comic book artist illustrator uh, he did a Frankenstein. I mean, he did a lot of EC horror and he did some other like more mainstream comic stuff too. But um, he did a Frankenstein book that is, he, it's all like black and white. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, people have colored his stuff, but his black and white Pierce, you know, uh, pen and ink stuff is gorgeous. He's like just a master of like, you know, light and shadow. And this, yeah reminds me so much of his work like you're going to be stunned when you see it like i think you're going to be impressed with this photo if you're not already 
um, because of what, uh, you know, what you see from that. Cause he's, he's one of my favorite illustrators. He's, he's fantastic. And this is, this is incredible. The, the choice to go in black and white on this thing was, was brilliant. Really yeah, nice, man. Man. really good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. So amazing stuff. I mean, we could go on and on and on and on. Uh, <laughs> just, just go follow him. Just go follow him. Noir Kaiser effects. Did you told me what that means? I think you told us on the one. Yeah, Noir, you Noir like... is Black Kaiser is Caesar. My first name and FX. Yes, FX. Simple. Okay. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Simple as that. Noir Kaiser effects. All right, let's get down to this, man, because we got a lot. To yeah, cover. we Let me got see who's in the chat here. First of all, we got uh, Blake Recon Rake Page, Zealous. What's up, Rob Zamora? Thank you for the sound check. Uh, hope everything's okay now. Everything good? Everybody saying it's all good? I guess so. All right, Dave Orkin is here. Uh, literally, action figs. Sonny Zeke Zach Zoom is here. What's up, Sonny? Uh, Mark R. Uh, Ian Saunders, what's up, buddy? Ian Saunders has got a great new show too mm -hmm. on YouTube. I think he's got another episode tomorrow night. Ian, is that correct? Uh, I like his photography. I really do enjoy his. Page. Yeah, he's he's great. He's great, and mm -hmm. he's he's a good he's a good teacher too. Like he, you know, he knows what he's talking about. Um, and he's doing. Uh, Ian, remind me of the name. I'm blanking like an idiot. I mean, I know it. It's a great name. Uh, just just shoot me a. A text here and i'll i'll i'll, pr I'll, I'll uh, promote it because it gets on tomorrow uh wholesome warlock from the purple gang gang is here game quest kevin boots what's up kevin joe gonsalves dude i'm glad you're okay man joe was in a was in a rough accident recently so oh, wow, um, yeah a little icy uh slippery road stuff and he's okay Oof. which is good yeah, well, so um game quest is here rm radcliffe uh alex Lowstack. Major reaction. What's up, man? Um, Nate Strong. What's up, buddy? Emerald Knight Photos. What's going on, man? Uh, Duck Collector. Seventy-eight points of articulate. What's what's up, dude? About to open. Finally, open your dio. Um, your. Uh, <laughs> I have Asian, opened the um, <laughs> Yeah, the Asian uh, uh, a yeah. courtyard dio. Uh, yeah. I have to do something with some 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 work products, so that's going to be in some promotional photos. Um, but yeah, I haven't even had a chance to open it. So that's, that's what my life's like. Uh, Sean Canary, what's up, man? Uh, what's going on? Uh, he, he might be on here tonight. Insightful imagery. My, what's going on? Hope you're doing all right, man. Um, Greg, formerly brute scale is here. Uh, and I think maybe Rick Jones. What's up, Rick Jones. Holland toy flicks. Carver customs. What's going on, man? Machu toy. There's the man. Machu toy. And yeah, that's everybody. That's great. 33 people here. Hit that like, please, uh, while you're here. Uh, Rich says he met Bernie Wrightson. That's cool, man. Yeah. I heard he was a really nice dude. Um, yeah, d dude, you got to go check him out because you'll, you'll be blown away. That Trust me. <laughs> it's incredible. It's incredible. Um, all right, let's get on with this. We're going to jump over to... Okay, this is a makeup shot because uh, in on the December show, it was uh, Ian Saunders, the aforementioned Ian Saunders and myself... And somehow this got left out. And I don't know how, because it was probably among the best of that month uh, just by itself. So um, we're going to I'm going to show it here now. This was not from January, but from December. Harold uh, Figure Mania show. Uh, insane. This is incredible. Yeah, he's uh... he's a mast of Godzilla and kaiju um there's there's a there's a bunch of guys he actually does a show on youtube uh, they're all excellent at this stuff but i think he's just you know he was kind yeah. of a, an innovator with this stuff and this is from godzilla my one great movie just what a setup i wasn't man. i wasn't <laughs> aware of his page and when i went in i was like hey, wow wow <laughs> there's a bps yeah. of one of his shots that i thought it was I don't know. It was digital or something, but it, he had like four different layers, and then he focused. It, it's insane. You got to look for it. Let me see. Yeah, let's called. see. Uh, is he in it's the, the one that, is it, is it... It, No, it's in the. It's one that Godzilla swimming. Okay. You, well, here's the BTS the... for this shot, which is insane. Uh, I just I, his setups are incredible. I mean, yeah, he's got all the it. stuff. He and he, look at this. I mean, he sticks to it. Look at that. That's crazy. Yeah. That's <laughs> beautiful i mean the blend simple ling but perfect man just incredible 
Um, let me see what you were talking that, about. Which one? Yeah, no, it's, one? I was very, no, keep going down. Okay. It's that, the green, very it. green one. That, that one. This one right here? Okay. Yeah, take the BTS on that. And <laughs> I mean, just that shot is incredible, right? I check mean, the BTS that. and you Lord. it'll blow your mind, dude. It's insane. It's wow. four levels Glass to technique. the technique. It's four wow. levels to the pictures. It's the bubbles, wow, then go Mila, then the boat on top. Wow. Yeah. Incredible. <laughs> Doesn't surprise me. I've seen him do this kind of yeah. stuff. It's amazing. I mean, look at this shot. Look at this resulting shot. Yeah. <clears throat> you got the bubbles. It's all practical. Yeah. You know, he tries to do the ACBA thing. I think he sticks to that for the most part. Um, man, incredible. Well, just look at that. It looks I mean, good. that's so, <laughs> so convincing. You know what I mean? Yeah. As to what it is. It just, he makes these little tiny figures look so incredibly good. I mean, he's got all the setups, but I mean, that just looks like you're looking at, at a movie still, man. It's incredible. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's amazing. Uh, he does it with everything too. Uh, any kaiju you want, he's got it. He's good at it. <laughs> um, yeah. I for details new stuff, for, old yeah, stuff it. it's an, it's amazing uh, i love mm -hmm. these perspectives and when he does these little uh somebody on a building looking through it's, it's incredible titan masters there you go that's the name of his youtube channel too so you can go check yeah, that okay. out on youtube great guys amazing shot so um harold my friend i'm sorry i, I <laughs> left you out last month but hey, you you got you got a little promo on last month, and then you get to be uh, featured here. So uh, and, uh, and 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 honestly, he doesn't need this. Thing's got twenty three thousand <laughs> likes on this. Thing. Does, but either way, it needed to be seen. So yeah, it's fantastic. Exactly. All right, uh, we're going to start with. I think this is one of your picks. I mean, a lot of these. I got to tell you, like, I was so happy that you picked them because they were already either in my uh, choices or I really wanted to put them in. Yeah. Um, so when I saw you started adding them to the, to the group, I was like, oh, excellent. Perfect. <laughs> you know, I can, I can pick something else. Cause I'm going to let you pick that one. Yeah. Um, so this is our friend, Elliot, uh, Bryant, yeah. uh, Biojex photo. We just talked about this on the one six pack yesterday, but go ahead. This is your, your pick. This is madness in photograph form. The details are insane. <laughs> That's that sculpt is. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't think we'll get another William Defoe sculpt better than the the teeth, the no. eyes, the you know teeth, every. Teeth, yeah, man. the teeth are done to perfection. Like, the eyes, and then he he puts the the mask over here, like it's talking to him, and the like, it just oh, works, man. It's it's really is madness in picture form. Truly. I, just love, I love the balance that he got with the mask because I really like him centered like that. And he looks, yeah. I mean, that is, that is dead nuts. Willem Dafoe, man. That's incredible. Yeah, it's, it's... And he's got the movable eyes. So he put them in that, that crazy, you know, he's <laughs> tearing yeah. down. Hours, yeah. Amazing. Getting a little glow from the light behind bouncing off the metallic. Um, you know, I'm sure that's artificial. I'm sure he's yeah, got a green it, light it, over there, but he's under it gives that impression also, yeah, because it catches the yep. teeth and the cheeks and the it's just yep, awesome. Yeah, <laughs> I'm thinking of and then he balanced this, it with the hand, hand, right? Yeah, yeah I know. And then he balances it with the hand, so he's got a little bit of you know interest over here to kind of like frame the face with the mask and the hand. Uh, yeah. And just enough, you know, you get a little bit of the purple here, a little bit of underlighting uh, coming over the top. I like the fact that even his, his chin isn't like, you know, rigidly defined. It's just, this is all you're looking at right here. Yeah, the <laughs> like focus is the, the eyes and the teeth. That's what you need. Yeah. There. And he, got, he killed it there. Yeah, it's fantastic. Incredible shot. Incredible shot. Um, yeah. Listen, Elliot's great, man. He's He yeah. does amazing stuff. He's been doing great stuff with Pennywise here. Uh, I haven't even gotten this out of the box, and he's got like six pictures of uh, it. I skipped that <laughs> one, unfortunately. Oh, I, had did you? Yeah. I had the Hot Toys one, so. I did two. I'm going to sell the Hot Toys one. Hopefully, somebody will be interested in it at this point, but we'll see. Um, yeah. I think these are, oh, these are the Asthma Zombies. Asthma Zombies, yeah. These are really cool. I mean, he's yeah. a horror guy. Like he, This is his his genre, and he does it very, very well. And that looks really good, actually. I gotta. Yeah, we chat a lot. We 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 share ideas every every so often. So. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you guys. 
lighting wise, you guys have a little bit similar style. I would say he's a little bit of a more of a, a darker. Uh, he tends towards the the darker uh, tones and stuff. Um, yeah. But yeah, I could I could see you guys collaborating on stuff. Amazing. But it's it's good. Yeah. That's a beautiful figure. Yeah. That's a devil make. That's right. He does the video game stuff too. Like too. He's, he's yeah. Kind of like anything he'll, he'll do anything. Capcom stuff. or Silent or Silent Hill. So that's that's his. Yep. That's Resident Evil. And... This is incredible. Come on, look at that. What a great angle, right? And what a yeah. great just like giving it air up here is really nice. Like everything's framed. It's got like that triangular, um, uh, the golden triangle type of yeah. composition. Really nice, man. Yeah, it's it's just moon. It. Like you don't have to see every detail. You know what I mean? Like it is, there's a lot of fog. Ah, I yeah, sometimes I, I I catch myself like thinking like it's a product shot and I have to be things have to be clean. <laughs> and, like, like it doesn't have to be. I want it to be dirty. Uh, go wild, man. Just, yeah, no. uh, just do something oh, that you've not, not done before. So I had a lot of fog in that in that uh, Lemmy shot today and I and I kind of toned it down. And by the time I was done, I was like, damn, this looks too clean. This <laughs> is too clean. Yeah. Add it back in. More fog. I just bought yeah, one of the, these bad boys also. So I'm playing around with it. So Oh, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, those yeah. are. I gotta say, the Smoke Ninja has been uh, very good to me. I, I really enjoy not having to have like this big hose underneath the table from the fog machine, and it's been really nice. Look at the mood. Yeah, on I this. tried that once. God, on, God, uh, like, fire God. alarm! Fire alarm in the house went off, so never again. So, <laughs> see, I just don't put a fire alarm down here. So, uh, uh, okay. well, I, sh I do. It's on the other side, just in case anything happens. But, uh, yeah, incredible stuff. I mean. If you're into horror, the macabre, or uh, Silent Hill, or video games and stuff like that, Elliot's your man. One yep. sixth, one twelfth statues. He's all over it. Um, Biojex photo, amazing stuff. Uh, congrats, Elliot. And all right, let's move on. We've got uh, oh, a bunch more to do here. Okay, this is one of my picks. I think. I know OL, OL Design had one more in in another month. Now again. Try to mix it up. You know what I mean? I, I will even tell my guests that, hey, you know, we've had, you know, so-and-so on a bunch of times. Um, but listen, if it's a good shot, it's a good shot. I'm not going to tell anybody they can't include it in their their picks and myself included. Um, OL's been in here before. There's no rules that you can't. Again, there's no prizes. So there's no rule that you can't be in it again. And when you do stuff like this, you're going to get in. <laughs> like this is... Uh, <laughs> This is nuts, man. This is um, nuts, yeah. a great <clears throat> scene recreation right down to the, you know, the, the drops. It's, it seems like this is a very wet, um, you know, base on this. Uh, we got some, I can see some little wetness uh, on the, on the, the uh, car and on the, on the, uh, the, the dinosaur a little bit. I mean, the, the rain is definitely a post thing, but man, this mm -hmm. setup and this angle and the light coming from this flare, um, it looks like the movie. Frame, all that, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Look at this shot. I mean, look at the setup, man. It's incredible using the, the um, dim lights, the out of scale car. Yeah. yeah, and he must have he must have light painted that a little bit or done a little bit of post on. That. Yeah. I'm sure the you know the main glow here is post, but the fact that he got the light coming from where the flare is, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like this would be the hottest spot on the dinosaur where the flare oh. would hit because it's the most forward point and yeah. it hits. It's perfect. It's great, man. It's, it's so, so good. Um, love the composition. And it feels yeah. like it's in movement. It's fantastic. It's a really good job. This pose is excellent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know. Did he, did he have something holding him up? I don't see any. No, it's, I think it's a, a diorama or a statue. Is it a statue? I oh, so, yeah. that whole thing is a, yeah, yeah. Oh, you know what? I didn't even look forward. Um, that whole thing is a statue. Okay, so he didn't have to pose him, which still in all, um, doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, incredible, incredible angle and in the in the use of the other yeah. car, which I don't think is in there. So this is a different. This is the uh, Hammond Collection car, and then there's another smaller car, which I don't think that's not on the dio either. So he extended the uh, the little statue dio uh, all the way yeah. around the end here. Incredible. Yeah, amazing shot. Beautifully yeah. lit. I mean, 
There you go. I mean, you don't even don't even have to have articulation, just statues. It's great. Um, but he he he's killing it with all sorts of stuff. Um I love the, the so this Buzz Lightyear Ludo. shots he, he's done, yeah. The Buzz Lightyear shot didn't make it in. I think it was the first episode. Another beautifully lit shot. Yeah, just it's edited. Beautifully um, lit, yeah. Just just a really cool composition on that. It's a centered composition, but great. I mean, this is this is fantastic. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's got great, great lighting and great post editing skills for sure. Um, this was the one that I, I think was on was in one of my finalists. I'm not sure if it made it in. I know we saw it on Maz's show, but uh, this is incredible too. Just beautiful lighting on that. Um, yeah, I mean, every shot yeah, man is a is a beautifully lit wonder. Oh, there's the other one with the uh, <laughs> cool. statue. Uh, another statue. Is that it? Yeah, that's yeah, a statue. Or so. is it? Is it? Looks like. Is it? I think the dinosaur. Maybe it is. Yeah. It comes off, though. That's interesting. Yeah. Uh, incredible. And he's doing everything from Spider Man to a lot of Jurassic Park. Uh, I know that. Um, that's amazing. Yeah. Another statue? No. So this is a full setup of uh, action setup, figures. Yeah. There you go. Got the stand hidden on the rock. Great pose on that. That's fantastic. I love that. I love the guy in the back right there. You know what I mean? Just yeah. lighting is on point, man. This point. looks like an outdoor shot, outdoor shot, and it's all indoors. It's great. Once you get that down, man, that opens up so much. Um, yeah. Really, really cool. Especially you don't have to go outside, which, <laughs> which, which I hate. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> for photography, anyways. I like yeah. going outside, but not for photography. Uh, oh, that's a great Godzilla shot too, like right there. Another fantastic Godzilla shot, incredible. So OL Design, go check him out. Uh, that's Ludo OL Design on Instagram. Awesome, good stuff, man. And congratulations on at least two, maybe three. I don't, I don't think it was three. Congrats, man. Yeah. All right, this next one is yours, and I'm very excited that you picked this because there were actually two. Um, of this guy's shots another a different shot of his that i was going to select and then somehow i missed this one and i like this one even more we'll show the other one yeah. too but um so this is uh my buddy alan rappa yeah um and that I is call this name. the goonies shot like i love i love it it, re it yeah. took me back to <laughs> to one i really see and so it's fantastic use of lighting the focus on the chess pieces and the skeletons it's just really really well done so I love and the story behind it it's called stalemate so <laughs> and he puts the definition of both stalemate and chess <laughs> yeah so is so do you take this the idea that they were playing and they just died and they playing, died yeah these, i mean yeah, you see all the skeletons in like the torture chamber i guess yeah. on the wall were hanged or whatever so i mean these guys got loose they, they, or they were the guards yeah <laughs> uh, apparently they stayed that way for <laughs> whatever reason so yeah <laughs> it's a hell of it a also shot, yeah. uh reminds me of uh what was that that french film with the with death and the and the uh the templar knight playing chess god how can i not rem remember the name of that Ooh. movie somebody help me out it's a very artsy french movie it's a criterion um, from... movie yeah, i i know the one it is a criterion I movie I uh good lord anymore. what's it called oh Somebody help me because I'm I'm having a I'm having a brain fart, uh, but I, man I love so Carver Customs torches uh, making it in there I need to again. Get me some of those, man. Dude, they're so good. They're really yeah. good. Yeah, uh, and the light I'm I'm imagining that this is the light that he's getting from these because they are nicely bright. Um, as long you know there's the batteries a, are fresh. There's a little bit on top of the skull that you can see, but it's very dim. I think it's just to get. Oh yeah. Yeah, he might have a little top down light and he's got a little bounce card bounce, over here. Yeah, there's something, yeah. but it's very subtle. It's very a great setup. You can't even catch it unless you're looking closely. And these, yeah, those... these work great. The little Halloween um, marshals or, you know, craft store like skeletons were great in the background. You know what I mean? They look good, you know, back there, you know, not up close. Yeah. They're good. Um, but it's a hell of a shot. I yeah. like it. It's like, almost like a painting. It's It's just really, really good. Absolutely. And it, yeah. And it's the like, same temperature of the lighting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Beautiful lighting. 
Um, and Alan does Alan's all over the place too. He does a lot of like fun, cute stuff, link like this, and he's great at this stuff. Like really that really one good. was also on my list, the the, the link. Okay. One, but I just saw the skeletons uh, and I, I gotta go with that. This <laughs> This was the one that I had in here. I really like this a lot. I yeah, just, the Metroid. There's something about it. I don't even know Metroid very well, but I just liked the the setup with the glass and the emotion here. I'm I'm guessing it's emotion. Um, I don't know because they're trying whatever. to kill her. So I don't know. <laughs> oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, those are Metroids right there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, but just like this, I think is like. Those those stackable. Does he have a BTS on this one? He probably does. Oh, it's just stands. He's just using like stands. Yeah. Stands as like this is what I'm talking about. There's another shot in here tonight that's like this, where you just use what you use. You know what I mean? Whatever what you, you can have. find yeah. for backgrounds. You know what I mean? And it's in, it's incredible. Uh, it looks great. Just put in there what you need to put in there to tell the story and. Mm -hmm be good i wonder where this uh, skateboard was going to come into play i'm not sure <laughs> but this is a great shot too uh so this was almost yeah. the one and then i saw yours and i'm like all right well we'll give we'll, we'll give him that one and uh we'll, we'll go with that but yeah i mean he does some just like this is great good account yeah like, that's a lot of good stuff the cute stuff the fun stuff look at all this detail in here um so he does a lot just a lot of like you know and this is this is just cool you know what i mean this is nice yeah. and crispy and dark and star warsy and you know go from that to this <laughs> which is i love yeah. i love that i love that uh you know he's doing some um he's doing some um cosmic legions mixing it in with uh mixing it with buzz lightyear, yeah. <laughs> buzz lightyear excellent and he's also got good concepts he's got some really good funny uh concepts uh, every once in a while, he'll do some humor um, with this stuff. That looks great. That's beautiful. How did I not see that? My algorithm that's sucks. A, I mean, I have been seeing his stuff, but I I got to go back and all these things and look at people's work because uh, I, I miss a lot of it. That's the thing I don't have. I don't have humor in photography. I cannot see myself doing funny stuff with my fingers. <laughs> It, it just I, drives me insane. I enjoy watching other people's work, but I cannot, for the love of God, do anything of that nature. I've done it, and it is fun, but I got to have like a really good idea, or just, I mean, he's got a great sense of humor, so this this works yeah, with him. This yeah. is great. That's fantastic. <laughs> Little Michelangelo love. Um, but yeah, he does a he does a great job of that. And some people are very good at the mashups yeah, and humor and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Alan is definitely one of those people. Um, so Alan Rappa, uh, great work on this. Congratulations on that. that. What's the chat saying in here? Anybody? Uh, dude, it's uh, yeah, it, it's fantastic work. Great, <laughs> great work. Um, um, he's ready to jump on his med sex for another part. Med sex shoot for another party. Yeah, sure. <laughs> There you go. Um, all right. So that's Alan's. Uh, I think the next one is mine. And uh, shout yes, Oops, I didn't find. Why are we not on the page? Got to find it. Hang on. There we go. All right. And shout out to the aforementioned Ian Saunders, who told me I had the wrong account. It was a sharing account um, and not the actual artist's account <laughs> because I wasn't following Sophie Toy. Uh, and now I am. Um, this just stood out to me for how different it is. And again, beautiful lighting that matches that concert feel, uh, you know, contemporary concert feel. And these characters uh, are just, these are Cayman Rider. I don't understand Cayman Rider. <laughs> me neither. Because I didn't know these are Cayman Rider figures. I, I know what Cayman Rider is, but I've never seen, you know. I've seen it, yeah, Kamen but Rider. I don't, haven't seen a movie or a episode of anything but of i mean just the just the 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 speakers on the shoulders i mean i mean they're obviously meant yeah, for this, positions, yeah. in some yeah. uh capacity but just having the foot on the the uh the uh the monitor down here yeah. the slight little dutch angle um yeah yeah I the posing is very rock and roll that's <laughs> basically hell yeah yeah the jump up here is great mm -hmm perfect even even the twist of the guitar you know like the hand going through as if it's strummed 
um, really well thought out and well yeah. posed. And the lighting is just killer. I mean, it's it's Some really point, beautiful. Yeah. This could be, this could have be one of those shots that has a tendency like to get too hot. You know what I mean? Like on the heads and stuff because it's yeah. all this is all shiny stuff, right? Like, but he he kept it in check, but still kept gave it that look of the background that he's using, which is the, the concert, concert backdrop yeah. from Atumi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is great. A uh, great use of this, like a, a either a digital backdrop with the, the drums here and stuff in the right position. Just really, yeah. really nice. It's um, nice so yeah. New convert to uh so actually I think I followed the, the wrong account there. So I gotta follow Sovi. Um a Cayman Rider. Uh, but good stuff, man. I mean, I I don't know this stuff, but it's uh it's good stuff. Look at that. That's cool. That's pretty cool. great. Good post editing with the flames and things like that. That can that can be. Um, oh, he's got some cute stuff here too. What is this? Look at that. The designer toys, apparently. Yeah, these designer toys are crazy, man. I've shot a few of those. Um, but yeah, great, really good. I like that. That's nice. That's cool. So, man, if you like Cayman Rider and you like uh, robots and little, uh, oh man, these, I gotta say, these look really cool. <laughs> like, I'm almost tempted yeah, you, to get one use, of these things. You can use them, especially in this one. Yeah, yeah. Do the eyes light? But it's the same thing. Enough. I don't know. It looks like it's a post effect. It's a post, but he's thing. well done. So I mm -hmm. don't know. Um, it, they look like they remind me of like Fortnite things. Like I, I wanted to get some Fortnite stuff yeah. at one point. I think I picked one up and I never did anything with it. So that's great. Another great concert shot right there. That's excellent. Really, really good. Fantastic. So there you go. Uh, Sovi Toy. Um, go check them out. Uh, really, really good stuff. All right. Uh, chat. What do we got? He knows all about the. Yeah, I know. Yeah, D is the uh, D is the the uh, Cayman Rider expert for sure. All right, this next one is yours. Oh, why is it keep going? Uh, I'm having a problem with the. Uh, it's staying on the page. It's supposed to be on. Here we go. And this is one six district. We got Bane here. Tell me yeah, about this the, one. This account has been since i think we've been taking photography and instagram this guy is a real artist with dioramas yep. everything you see in the backdrop it's handmade it's one six yeah. scale his figures are all handmade one six scale and he does good is that right with... yeah oh i didn't realize this was one sixth holy moly one i mean i knew he scale. did one six he's one six district we spoke a oh, bit wow. a couple of years back because we were both working on a custom Dark Knight Returns figure and we helped each other out and we I built mine and he built his, but his is built by hand. He just did the wow. 3D sculpt, the body, everything. I think the clothes are from uh, who's the guy who does the he does Batman uh, clothes, uh, uh, Tony Mays, I think. Uh, oh, Tony May, yeah, Tony May. Yeah, he does. Uh, I, I think he buy stuff from him but everything is by hand dude and he has the best uh william defoe joker custom made that you'll see i know that one Cisco. i know yeah. that one uh, i, I really enjoy his i really enjoy his photography he's very supportive of everybody so if you have a question about mm -hmm. anything you're building or anything he's really a really good guy but his work shows he's a good does good photographer i love this ambient yeah. lighting you, you can see the rim lighting but it comes from the park which lights up mm -hmm. which he did uh, and then the red light comes from this whatever it is but it's all basically from his dial so it's a good job I that makes I, I like this show, so man. much more impressive than just having like a digital backdrop like that you know what i mean it's, yeah it's, uh, i i, I kill hot toys batman and shoot in that diorama that he has over there dude it's fantastic yeah Scroll down um, does, he, does he build for people? Does he build for people or no? I've seen him do commissions for somebody, okay. but uh, but you can scroll every. He does indoor and outdoor. All that is this his. Is yeah, great composition. So this is his Batman. Yeah, that's it. That's yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything that's not the. Uh, oh, they they must have done this from a Tony May set too right yeah yeah. Like yeah he 3d printed he paints it he builds it he buffed yeah, it up he incredible. put a tape on it it's just i've been following him for a long time i, I again there's somebody that i haven't seen for a while it's just weird yeah. like the, the way that happens 
this die is nuts. Look at yeah. even like you can Tell get me close on this thing. You don't want to take one of your Batmans and shoot it. I I, I go totally. insane with a one six die like that, dude. This is so. I mean, I've got dios that you can get close on, but you you know, there's a point where you're like, okay, I can see that that's cardboard and that's been painted. Mm -hmm. uh, this this does not look like that. <laughs> this no, is it's by hand, dude. It's he has videos it's of everything. Incredible. Does, so. Oh yeah, here we go. Wow, great! I think that's something great he did for somebody work, else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great paintwork. Amazing. Oh yeah, look at that. There's yeah, the William the Foe Joker. You see, you see that's him doing the yeah transfers and everything. I have seen there. There's that. This thing is great. Yeah, <laughs> that's so pretty good. cool. What a great shot too! Like everything just yeah. angled in, all framing him, triangular shot. Really, really nice. Yeah, you, you don't want to be the guy in the bottom of that shot. Yeah, looking up so. Exactly. Yeah, and yeah. you are. So yeah, you like, are. Yeah, <laughs> you kind of are. Uh, yeah, incredible. And you know, again, you can tell. You can always stare at us again. You can always tell his stuff. Now uh, it's very. He's got that very uh, muted film look mm -hmm. to his stuff. It's really, really cool. Uh, for the most part, I know he does some other stuff too here and there. But uh, I just I love the glasses used there. That's very uh, Frank Miller, right? Yeah. Very cool. He loves Frank Miller and shoots like uh, David Fincher. I love I love the covering in his photos. Yes, that's true. That's yeah. a good way to put it. <laughs> that's mm -hmm. a good way to put it. Yeah, incredible stuff. Uh, so that is one six district. Uh, go check them out. Incredible. Look at that. Amazing. God, I, I wish I had the time to make that. He and Sean Canary they, they irritate me. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how they do it. They have that time and they still no, have we'll, time to take. I will get his in a little bit. So <laughs> they're just good. Yep, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um. All right. This is not the. Uh, hang on a second. I gotta go. I had this all set up nicely, and something got messed up here. So we'll go over to sequential here, and I'll bring this up. And this is mine. My pick. I think this is so much fun. <laughs> like, there's so much going on here. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, listen, it's red light and a green figure. It's like jarring. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like when you see it, you're, you're like, Ugh. and then it's like, oh, that, it's Gumby. Like that's great. Like, and Gumby yeah, but, used to freak me out as a kid. Like I never understood yeah, that. I, think but he I, I just freaked out everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but I is this? I don't know what this this figure is. I, I meant I meant to like ask him the other day. But is there there's a Gumby figure? I didn't even know there was a Gumby. I mean, I know there's Gumby figures well, out there, but I don't even know. An, an angry red eye Gumby? I think that might be a custom job. Man. I don't know. It's got to be right. I mean, I know the headband's custom, but this looks mm -hmm. so funny, man. This is just this is humor. So here's your humor. Yeah. You know what I mean? And um, you know, great, great work on the gumbo. Host. It's gumbo. This is gumbo. 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 Yeah. It's great. <laughs> um, you know, and the and the leaves. Uh, are big but they're in front of the camera so they're they're close to us a little bit so that works and it doesn't even matter no. because it's funny it's humor that's the great yeah. thing about humor is you can get away with so much stuff i mean he's playing this like like a serious it's situation like trying to be but, serious but it's gumby it's like how can but you it's gumby it? it's gumby damn it it's gumby damn for it. the next one i just wish him writing in and on pokey and that would be awesome yeah <laughs> yes course, back yeah, like, like like uh like Clint Eastwood or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, he does. And he's like, he's got a style with these hot reds, right? Like it's, mm -hmm. but it works. It's not too overly done. Again, there's a place where you could, you could overdo this and things could get really blown out with the red, but he's done a good job. No, but you can, the there you can see that vein work and everything on the figure. So it's not, yeah. Up, so it doesn't yep. it up, so it's pretty good. Uh, same thing with the blue. I really like that. So this is very, much uh like you know miller-esque in terms of like mm -hmm. the contrast and stuff this is this is a really nice shot mm -hmm. this could have made Sweet. it too uh i just thought the gumby one was just so yeah <laughs> so much fun i uh, couldn't pass it by i saw it it was on on the the toy daddy's top 10 too so uh this is it and then again and then he's got stuff like this which is uh just a great clean you know mezco monday yeah, uh clean. shot yeah really nice setup i mean another great dial Great yeah, there. not a story there. 
Nice Usagi. Yep. That's great. I forgot about that one. That's a great shot, too. That's from January. Prolific as well. <laughs> like, like mm -hmm. lots of shots in January, man. That's that's great. Good for you. This is a nice shot. This could have made it. Yeah. This could have made it for sure. This is a really nice shot, too. Uh, good, good stuff. I love that, Jack. I didn't get yeah. that, Jack, and I should have gotten that, Jack. Again, it's something I knew I'd get, and I probably wouldn't shoot, but I, I had some ideas, but I, I just didn't do it. Um, yeah. All right, sequential underscore plastic, and that's Zach. Uh, go check them out. Great, great stuff. Look at that. I That's love that show. Yeah, that that this this is one of the first shots I've seen of this figure that makes me want this figure, which I I don't really want this figure, but this looks great. Yeah, but the skulls nice and setup. the bookshelf and the yeah the painting detail the back, it's hot cutter in the background and the painting. So. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's so cool, and I like yeah. the the mezit pouring the wine. That's the great. Video. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Very cool. Very nice. Uh, good stuff. Good stuff, uh, Zach. All right. Uh, this next one is yours. And this, uh, it messed me up again. I don't know why it keeps going, taking me out of their page, but okay. Cause I want to see the big image. Uh, this one is my friend. <laughs> I haven't spoken to in a long time. Uh, oh, Mark Amato, who is another great yeah. Mezco and one six figure, uh, shooter. So tell me about this one. There's what are, what is there to say then other than it's a very <laughs> fantastic shot it's it's filtered beautifully it's focused beautifully the action is there right. the story is there you know it's mm -hmm. it, it's it's just beautiful it's it could be a comic yep. book cover any any day of the week so totally and he did totally. a comic yeah, he, he did one in a comic book cover first one of the year I remember oh yeah them. Mm -hmm. oh yeah 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 i remember that too yeah, I love it. I love the. I, he's got a little bit of motion blur on the rocks, but it's mm -hmm. it's, it's well done, um, and it it doesn't in in fract uh, on the figure itself. So that's really well done. Um, the face I know is they're, crispy, they're probably a little out of focus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So crispy. Yeah, this is a great, mm -hmm. great, and the composition, like you said, this is a comic book cover. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can see the yeah. title right up above here it with his, maybe his head front of it mm -hmm. and then your, your call outs and stuff. It's just made for that. Um, it's beautiful. Yeah. Show. Beautiful colors, beautiful lighting, great setup. And the coloring just, and the, the, the good thing is that it, the coloring doesn't eat at invincible's uh, suit. So it's the yellow is sharp yellow. So it, it's all muted correctly. And it just works out fantastic. Yeah. And I like the tint that he used on the mm -hmm. stones. I mean, those could have been just like a dull gray, but it, it actually complements the yellow and the blue yeah. in the suit. So it's just a nice uh, color composition as well as everything else. Um, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's... Mark does great work. I mean, he's he's been doing great work forever. Uh, this is beautiful. This could have made it too. This is incredible. Uh, here's your shots. cover. That's incredible. Yeah, that's the first one, yeah. <laughs> or invincible, as the case may be. Yeah. Um, yeah. He's just, he's, oh, wow. That's great. Cat Bane. Yeah. I saw that one. Forgot about mm -hmm. that one. That's cool. I, I remember seeing this, but I haven't seen it in a while. And that, that's great. You should, you should uh, shoot just, that figure. I don't know why you haven't shot that figure yet. It's I know. Really, well, you know, maybe wow. now I will. Now that I'm just freeing myself up to do some simple portrait stuff, I may do it. But I mean, I mean, nah, look nah. at, come on. Like, you got people doing stuff like this. Uh, no, but you got Elliot, you got a good you. eye for the cowboy stuff, so I'm pretty sure you could knock one out of the park if you take your time with that one. So it's it's a fantastic figure to shoot, man. Trust me, it is great. You'll yeah. love it. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. I do need well, that cowboy. Beautiful, stuff for sure. sure. Dear God, this the way the <laughs> the, uh, the the cape is in motion around mm -hmm. here and gets. I mean, he's doing a great job with i'm assuming i mean i'm assuming this is a little bit out of focus just from his you know his, his settings but uh he's also added a little bit of a motion like either a radial mm -hmm. blur or something to this which again is not too much just gives you the sense of motion and, here and man you mm -hmm. the orange with the blue yeah great i love those really. filter the filtering he does with the colors it's awesome Videos. yeah his his post work um mm -hmm. is is great his color gradients uh very that, very cinematic looking. that looks lifelike <sighs> yeah jesus that's yeah. great mm -hmm. it's a great figure but that's great man that's really good too yep 
Yeah, his lighting is great, man. And he's such a super nice. This 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 prop top popped up somewhere. That's beautiful. Uh, I don't know where we talked about this, but I know we. I think it was on the one six pack. I think this is one of my choices or somebody's yeah, choice. I think so. Yeah. Their picture of the month, man. It's such a cool setup. I mean, it's something you you don't see with one six in such a large setting. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's it's tough to do that. It's tough to set up big sets for uh, for one six figures, but he's he does it. Uh, amazing stuff and he's he's got a little humor here too <laughs> <laughs> dragons are the yeah. is this the these aren't all those like ultra expensive i gotta ask I him know. where he got we had to ask him this yeah. isn't one because this is one six this is the this is the hot toy this isn't yeah and yeah. he has the black light on the banners on the back yeah could be an expensive shot right there mm -hmm. uh yeah i mean amazing stuff Always beautiful, always gorgeous lighting, always innovative uh, compositions and interesting composition. This, I remember this one. This was fantastic. That's an awesome show. So go check out Mark Amato, Morpheus Visions. Uh, super nice guy, too. Um, I'm not going to tell you to ask him questions, but I'm sure he'd be open to answering any questions <laughs> you have on, on his work. Don't just don't, don't, don't buck him up, but he's great. Um, Okay, I think that was yours, and I think this is mine, and I'm sure this is yeah, it's refreshed. I guess it's what it's doing is it's refreshing and going back to like the uh, the small little picture. So I have to keep clicking onto these. Uh, but nobody needs to know that really. I could just be doing this behind the scenes and not saying anything. <laughs> um, <laughs> this guy, I mean, there have been so many pictures that he's taken that I have. Um, yeah, the Moon Knight it was incredible, a fantastic mm -hmm. shot um that i have wanted to include in this but i just wanted like like he he does everything he does is amazing you'll see in a minute um and he is very much an acba guy he's very much yeah. he doesn't know photoshop he doesn't do photoshop he i know he has been editing his colors a little bit and i don't know what he's doing that in but uh he's he, you know he would always tout that he would take things out of the camera basically the way uh he shot them um yeah, you know, I think he's I think he's uh, evolving a little bit from that. I, I say evolving, but it's been working for him. So who the hell cares? Yeah. I thought this was an incredibly clever. I mean, you knew people were going to use these Aesopidian figures for standard grays, obviously. You know, yeah. I mean? like they a standard gray. Nice look. Out, yeah. But the idea to take this guy, use bullseye, first of all, like yeah. as if they've been experimenting on him yeah. already. Uh, and, and the like expression his, on his face also helps. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, and his Dever shop in Miami, which is, well, you probably know this story, right? Because uh, this is this was this was happening like a few months ago. Like they were talking about aliens abduct, abducting people from shopping malls or something in Miami. Yeah, it's, it's Florida. It's crazy I mean, conspiracy. It's, you know, <laughs> if it's not aliens, it's yeah. It's what can I say? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know it's Florida. Uh, mm -hmm. But when you see the bet. Like just this, when you see the background of this again, going back to I think it was Alan's shot of the yeah. Metroid. Um, it, it's I actually like the black and white one too. Look at this. I mean, I don't know what these are. Do you know what these are? I mean, they look like some sort of. I they know look like a bakery. Duck. Yeah, that's crates for something for carrying either. Maybe they're props, but I don't know what. I gotta ask him what these are. I didn't ask him. I mean, these crate. These are crates. I mean, these are yeah, just crates. Are crates. Yeah. <laughs> and I think he's trying to get the light coming through those to kind of give it that, um, you know, that that uh, uh, filtered effect through there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like a, um, a uh, word is escaping. Words are escaping me tonight. But um, a gobo, like a gobo. Yeah. Uh, but these, I don't know what these are, but they look great. I mean, look at these in the background. I mean, again, like you look at this and you go, okay, nice setup, cool. But like, then you, you, you keep it out of focus. This wouldn't work with on uh, 22 <laughs> for <No>. sure. <laughs> um, no, you see everything you see, literally everything. So it takes exactly. away the mystery there. Yeah. But uh, it, it, yeah, go ahead. It works at that range, man. It's awesome mm -hmm. job. Yeah. I should have picked up one of those um, aliens. Um, yep. Uh, he's, I mean, again, he's just, he's an ACBA master he's got all sorts of props he's got all sorts of stuff um 
and it's just great stuff like this. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. He'll do situational stuff. Um, you know, he's used here's the Grays again, very much um X Files. Uh, X Files, yep. Yeah. Um, really, really cool. Really good use of these things. I'm really liking what he's doing with them. Here again. Experimenting on their own kind. Um but yeah, I mean it's just straightforward stuff, but like his composition, like just to put these cars in here to sort of frame this out out of focus, you know, he's, he's got great compositional, um, uh, instincts. You know what I mean? Uh, his, I love guy. his street scenes. He's always I, doing I some great part, street yeah. scenes. Mm-hmm. Yep. Another one that could have made it. This is a great shot too. Yeah. It's a great shot. Uh, <laughs> You know, he's using humor all the time. That was and funny, this, yeah. again, <laughs> this, it was practical. So I think he might even show this in a video behind the scenes. So he just, he did a long exposure and he just did the ghost effect. He pulled it out after like he a second, he pulled out, uh, pulled Sue out and that was it. He pulled Sue out. He didn't pull it out. Um, but great effect. Sorry, I'm sorry. That's just, I said it and I'm like, somebody's going to pick up on that in the chat. So yeah. <laughs> Uh, son of a bitch. It's okay. Uh, dude. <laughs> yeah. His his lighting is fantastic. Let's let's get back to the photography. <laughs> he's been doing a lot of mythic legions lately, I gotta say. Like he's 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 been doing a lot of mythic legions. We're gonna skip his nice Christmas shot, photos so. because uh he, he does some crazy stuff on Christmas. Uh you can follow him and find out what that is. But look at that, man. That's incredible. Yeah. Incredible setup, Simon. Like Simon Hill never... plastic underscore snaps. This is yeah. I mean, this looks like straight from like a movie set. Like he's yeah. he's captured the look of uh, you know, he's not even trying to go for realism here in terms of like this the environment looking real. It looks like it was set up on an old Hollywood set and it's a perfect scene from it looks like yeah, show. like an old movie. Yeah, a back lot or whatever. Uh great stuff. Um all just all over the place, too, and really, really good stuff to shape. Um, that's Simon Hill over in the UK. Uh, plastic underscore snaps. Good, good stuff. All right. The next one is yours. And I'm so happy you picked this one for several reasons. <laughs> um, because this is another guy that I wanted to get on here for a very long time. He does great work. Um, Joe Hume. Yep. Uh, incredible. Uh, just a nice guy too. I got to meet him. He came over. He was doing a documentary for French TV. Um, at New York Comic Con, like it feels, feels like five or six years ago. But tell us about this one. What uh, what made you pick this? Well, this took me back to my bartending days, dude. I just look at it and I smell <laughs> day day old beer and cigarettes. It's just it, it, it it's either Lemmy after a session or before he's tuning. There's a Jack Daniels bottle on the back. He has a cigarette oh, on the on the guitar handle. It's just it's great. It takes you there, and you feel like you're just watching a show on one of those small venues, you know, back in the day. Yep. But it, it it activated all my 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 smells and everything. Like, yeah, I, I, I dig this. You know, I really do dig this. I was Lighting in a, is... I was in a band back in the day in my twenties, and uh, yeah, the smell of that that fog. I mean, it's kind of the yeah. same smell that I get from my fog machine at this I point. I used but, to be a bartender I mean, it, and a bouncer. Dude. Yeah, so that, <laughs> so. It, per, it permeates your lungs and you never uh-huh. forget that smell or the, the, the taste of it actually in your mouth. Um, but yeah, I mean, he nailed the look of like, mm-hmm. I feel like this is backstage going before like a small gig yeah. someplace. Like he's two or they're, or they're Or it's late at night, they've broken down and they're still hanging around. I love the fact that he's got the cigarette leaning on the guitar or the bass because that's what you do. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And like, it's such a cool, you know, I, I just did a Lemmy shot. I went with him, you know, playing the bass. Like, I just like this, this kind of like epitomizes Lemmy too. Uh, I, I like this much better than my shot. Yeah. The rim lighting um, is fantastic. It's just, you know, his TVs work back here too. Like just as, you know, as props for the, the scene or whatever, you know what I mean? For the, for the stage show or there's something in the back, again, back of a bar somewhere. Really, really good stuff. It just, it just took me there, man. For a second, I was like, "This smells like old beer." It's fantastic. <laughs> it's pretty yeah. good. Um, 
he's been doing a lot of these. I'm not sure what the deal with these are, um, but he he does a lot of miniatures and stuff too. These are the little yeah, muscle guys, right? But miniatures, the uh, yeah. yeah, I love. I'm pretty. I'm a big fan of his account because of the lighting, and it's pretty badass. Uh, I love his gorgeous work. lighting. And he's also got a he's he's got a way of uh, composition yeah. and just cleverly using things like this, for example, going up the steps. That was what a that was one of my big shot. Until I saw the Lemmy one, and I was like, nah, I'm going for the Lemmy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I saw this one too, and I, I thought about yeah. picking it, and then I saw you did Lemmy. So, I mean, his composition is fantastic. He's very, very good. Um, and his lighting, like you said, just uh, yeah. like the hanging body. The hanging in the back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So cool. Um, it's it's it. I love it because it, his photos say a lot without saying too much. I don't know if you get what I, I mean, mean look it's at like, that yeah that's beautiful mm -hmm. that's just gorgeous great uh, his his posing is great too that's a great mm -hmm. pose the god light the rays in the background what a beautiful composition that is gorgeous yeah that's a good good, good stuff i can't put my finger yeah. on his stuff i mean it's he's got a very smoky style too very atmospheric style um yes. but it's distinctly artsy i would say like it's just he's very artsy he's very good at that and the, ugh, a great combination this was too right how yeah. creepy is that i mean that's like a french film right there i mean no yeah. you know he's french but like that <laughs> reminds me of, like you know that's incredible yeah beautiful stuff joe um i hope you're watching yeah, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we gotta we, 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 we got talk soon um yeah beautiful look at that perfect for dracula mm -hmm. gorgeous and he's all he does all sorts of stuff all over the place so superheroes you got your horror you got, got x-men you got everything conan uh great spider-man shot there whoops that's not spider-man right there fantastic colorful french underscore toy underscore love um joe hume he's also got joe hume which he does uh some you know it's his regular life he does other photography too though so uh, and i think he's a cinematographer as well i know he did that uh, documentary so i think that's kind of what he does in his daily life uh he's great fantastic stuff mm -hmm. okay what's the chat saying here about this stuff um motorhead was tight live they were i've seen them twice loud super super loud oh my god oh you met him at the rainbow room nice I, by all accounts he was a great guy he would just like he would sit there and have a beer with you he was totally totally a super nice guy man yeah very good how many have i had how many have had of what <laughs> i'm not I'm drinking water here man and i'm out of water so I'll start drying up here pretty soon um okay uh the next one i believe is my pick and i think connor is a two-time um inductee as well but i couldn't let this go uh this is one of the the best picks i've seen of the hasbro uh, indiana, jones. indiana jones stuff uh i think it's it's super well done the lighting i mean they he really made these look really good he brought out all the great details that these things have and I think made them look even better than they actually look. Quite yeah, he just, took that, he just took that scene from Last Crusade in the boat and just transferred it to photo That's it. form. That's it. That's yeah. it. Beautifully. Crafted. But a knife on the chin, uh, mm -hmm. you know, Indy's looking down a little bit. You know, he's thinking something. He's got a plan. Uh, mm -hmm. Even the bag falling off his shoulder is a nice touch. Um, and you don't see water what, droplets. What's, what's he's holding in the hand. That's so important. You know, it's... Uh, it's Yep. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's it's probably the idol, but it could be anything else. I mean, it could yeah. be something else. You know what I mean? It actually doesn't look like the idol. It looks like it's another MacGuffin or something. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, you know, water drop was a couple of big ones, but like, I don't care. Like, this is a toy. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? I'm good yeah. with this. Like, this is good. Um, I think it's fantastic, and it looks like practical rain. I think what he's doing here is is actually dousing these things with a with a spray. Yeah, bottle. with spray bottle. Um, yeah, which I like. You know what I mean? Again, it's not perfect but it is a practical shot and i like the idea that you know it doesn't have to be practical i have no problem with people doing post rain or anything like that uh you know post 
editing rain but uh, i like when it's practical it is, it yeah. is really nice it just have like a very uh, organic it effect to it effect when you put it in digitally it just looks natural even though it's it yeah drops you can let it go it's fine it looks it looks natural and it affects it affects like fog it affects mm -hmm. what's in the scene and the light that hits the scene like actual rain does when it's yeah. pouring down you know it'll reflect Reflects the light that, a little bit and mm -hmm. bounce the light around a little bit so yeah just a just a beautiful shot and i mean connor does sick work man like just and he's all over the place too with with all his uh different scales uh I beautiful fader there helmet, how you see this is helmet. again another great shot <laughs> like what am i gonna do with this figure they're all it's all done <laughs> it's all been done great um angle here love that love that you can see the emperor through there love yeah that. fantastic he's doing some great stuff with gandalf too and i think this is the asmus gandalf too that's the asmus one yeah yeah. But it looks great either way. <laughs> it's fantastic. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's he's got a great sense of composition. He's got a great sense of story. Uh, and his lighting is totally on point. Um yeah, I don't know what else to say, man. It's great stuff. Like really, nice. really beautiful. Yeah. Again, the Asmus version, but uh, I mean he's 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 getting the best out of this. Did a great job of her on this too. Yeah, the lighting there makes it work, man. It's, it's yeah, very good. Yeah, the backlighting on that is fantastic. Yeah, just gorgeous work, Connor. Fantastic stuff. Close-ups, uh, scenes. He's doing it all. Excellent stuff. Uh, so that's Connor T. Uh, press underscore, pause underscore, photography underscore. Underscore. <laughs> underscore. I can't underscore that enough. Um, go follow him. It's great. All right. Uh, next up is one of yours. I got to find it. There it is. And this is uh, somebody I've known about for uh, quite a while, too. Uh, Coleccionista de Plastico. I know my Spanish is terrible, yeah. but. Uh, That's all you have me for, man. <laughs> I know. you. Well, you say it because you're going to say it a lot better than I will. Coleccionista de Plastico. <laughs> you just got to roll over that de. de plastico. Yeah. That's it. Very nice. Very uh, tell us about this one. This is this is cool. What a gorgeous. I story. like the story because this is one of the pivotal moments yeah. in in the movie when Yoda tells Obi Wan that his student we just betrayed everybody else and he has to send them to kill his own student. So you see every little bit of that story in this picture. So he uh, even Man. for a four or five frame he did the rule of thirds perfectly because he puts yoda in the back and focuses the eyes and then you can see the emperor midpoint fo not yep. focused and obi-wan in the back and he, he has his own source of lighting in the back for obi-wan yeah it's, it's, it just works man it tells the this just by looking at yoda looking at what's happening and then looking up to obi-wan it tells the whole story for you don't you know it's just a fantastic it. shot it's beautiful depth. Mm -hmm. uh, I love, you know, he's, it's very shallow, but like you can tell you, obviously with the lighting, you can make out Obi-Wan, you can make out enough of the hologram, um, which might, might've been a little post work there to get that. But I know that is the hologram that comes with it. So no, that comes with the uh, collector. The Lux edition. Yeah, yeah. I have that one. Yeah. Um, yeah, so maybe not. Maybe that's just it's just there, and that's just uh, it looks like it's a little bit got a transparent, little bit of a, but uh, but you got a little glow around it or something. Yeah, yeah. I know it's light up. There's light in that table too, but maybe that was it. Um, but yeah, I mean, you're talking about like you 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 told the story, and like this yeah. expression on this Yoda this is a yeah. great Yoda too. Uh, I mean, how perfect is that for that situation? I mean, it's just like it's the perfect expression for this. Yeah, that's character. staring off to the distance, like moment. yeah. So, you know, <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's great. The lighting's great. Uh, you know, backlighting kids, uh, it works. Uh, and it looks like it's kind of the same source that he's got over here on Obi-Wan. Obi so yeah. yeah, and then just like you said, like <clears throat> that little bumper back there to kind of give it yeah. a, like they're in a dark room, a Star Wars room lit from mm -hmm. the ceiling. Perfect. Yeah, fantastic. He has a lot uh, of hot toy shot. It's pretty good at camera. Yeah, he's got some great 
compositions, compositional skills, man. He's very, very good at that. Uh, and he loves doing these tight shots and I love it. And like, cause yeah. his people, uh, you know, just different angles, um, different lighting situations. This looks like a digital backdrop, but like he does a lot of setups. That's gorgeous. Yeah. Great composition. Like 016. I mean, that's a good collection though. Yeah. <laughs> Keep going back here. Yeah. Yep. That's yeah. Good for sure. Star Wars hot dog collection. See, this is nice. That's nice. Yeah. This is all you need to see from the, you know, from the from the the base down is is this, and you you got the story. It's really really good. Again, rule of thirds. Yeah, he knows what he's done. Mm -hmm. Love this. I want love to know what lens he's using on this. He's got some crazy distortion. I mean, that could be post too, but it's some some cool distortion on that. Yeah. shooting and yeah. cropping shooting at a range and cropping but i don't, I don't know what yeah that's true yeah but uh really really good stuff and a lot of star wars yeah so if you're a star wars fan, to look for you. Sure. <laughs> great emotion there another great use of these uh <clears throat> these it's a great expressions. story seller, man. Yeah. so it's a story yeah. we know but you know just by star wars fan looking at this video oh yeah there, there it is yeah. Uh, I mean, the, if it wasn't for the purrs, it would still work. But man, the, the him turning his head and and just about to, you know, like like shift and spin around is like, yeah, great, really, really good. And the and the red and the blue, really, really nice. That's a gorgeous shot. I haven't seen that one before. Very that nice stuff. Cool. Um, that is Victor Garcia. You say it, Victor Garcia. You said it fine. No, no, no. His name. <laughs> his name. Victor Garcia. <laughs> Coleccionista. <laughs> Lista de plástico. So, Coleccionista. Underscore de, underscore de, plas de underscore plástico. So. There you go. For our podcast viewers, I guess, who can't read. I don't know. I'm, I'm, yeah. There it is. <laughs> uh, good stuff. Good, good stuff. Um, yeah, all right. This one uh, here, this is a new new name. Uh, not somebody I don't know. I know, I know Dan, but, um, has not made it on here before. And I just thought this was really super cool. It, who is, is this, this is not dead man. And it's not the specter. We know who, who is this? Uh, we need I don't know my DC one. characters. Yeah. I know. I don't, I don't know my DC characters and he didn't tag it. So I don't know. Somebody help me out. I'm going to hate myself when you tell me, because I do know who it I is. I think it's a anyway. Marvel lip. I think it's. Is that a Marvel character? I think so. Okay. I just kept thinking it was a DC character, but I don't. I don't. Maybe it's just something I don't. Something I don't remember. I, I do distinctly fun. remember who this character, but I can't remember who it was. Uh, anyway, I loved the fact that he blended, you know, the 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 pattern on his chest and from the cape coming down into the smoke that's just pouring yeah. over him. He's obviously using like you know, the, the thick fog effect to just like pour that smoke over this figure uh, and have it just uh, perfectly blend in. I don't know if there's lines on his abdomen here on either side of his stomach, but if there is, I mean, that just blending into it and like his legs as if he's just forming out of the smoke. You yeah, know what I mean? it it's has that effect. It's... Just so cool. Uh, I think he did a little post work with the stuff around the hands. A little bit of in the hands. Oh, despair! Thank you. My brother comes through with the name. That's despair. Oh, there you yep. go. <laughs> yep. This is not a character. I do remember this character. This is an older character too, but I don't. I, don't I think he came out in a. Was, I think it was. I think it was Ghost Rider. Strange thing, wave. Maybe? Oh, maybe yeah. it was Doctor Strange. Yeah, yeah. One of those cosmic figures. Um, yeah. What do you think of this? I love the just exactly what you said. He used the smoke and it melts because the the figure is black and white, so it helped with the contrast and the whole lot. So, but it melts beautifully, and he didn't have to do yep. any post work at it at all. No, so I don't think he probably needed to, but I, I don't know what if this is part of the character that these little little sparks. I'm assuming that's all post stuff. I can't. I wonder what so shutter weird. speed he used on that. I don't. It couldn't be a um, long shot. Yeah. So, I would, would say it's a few seconds. Yeah. Three or four seconds, it's something like that. Yeah. 
He's still getting those wisps though. So that's mm -hmm. actually like a quicker shot. That's probably like a two second shot or something like that. Yeah, most likely. <laughs> but it looks, it works, man. With the figure, <laughs> it's a fantastic shot. And I, I kind of like that there's a little tint of blue to it. You know what I mean? It's just a little, and I know there's going to be jokes about that from some people in my audience, but um, I just like it. I like that there's a, it's not just pure black and white. There's just a little bit of a tint of color to it, almost a duotone color. Yeah, it's and beautiful. The, and the, the post is very subtle, so but it, it's an awesome job. Yep, awesome. Very, job. very good. Um, and he does a lot of like you know just like stuff like this, like a little bit of post work, um, with some what if stuff. But uh, and I don't even know. I'm not even sure where, you know, Dio's end and graphics begin on this one. I'm not even sure. Mm -hmm. He might just be putting them into a, a, an image at, a, in post. I know some of this stuff is 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 actual. You know, this is beautiful. What yeah, the shot. base looks good. Yeah. I don't know the background, but that's a nice shot. Yeah, that's cool. Just a nice, simple shot. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. just a just a team shot. Um, yeah, that that's hydrate, great. That looks nice shot. Yeah, so good. There you go. That's a dial for sure. Yeah, that's looking good. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Look at that. Just good yeah, stuff. Yeah. Just nice, yep. clean, straightforward for the most part. I mean, he's got he's, he's got some action here. There you go. It's a little outdoor shots. This is gorgeous. Really nice. I love wow. that something. I saw that one. Yeah. I think I looked at this. He's got two of them. I must have liked the other one. I don't know. <clears throat> but I saw this and I, I seriously thought about changing it, but I just love the effect that he used on that other one. But this is really, really nicely done. This really is gorgeous. Good, yeah. yeah. Well, it could be a comic cover right there. Definitely. Mm -hmm. For sure. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Good stuff. And this is uh Dedan Toy Man, uh, which is Dedan underscore, underscore Toy Man. Uh, he also does uh, graphic design photography. So there you go that's where his skills come from uh good stuff dan um good stuff all right let's move on we're we're getting there we got uh we got five more so uh um, oh, well, good here's another one uh we're doing good on time we're doing pretty good on time try to keep it in an hour and a half but we're gonna go a little over on this one uh another one that i picked something from this guy and I, I love his work and there has been several things that he's done over the past months that, that could have made it in. There was just something that just like grabbed me, but man, there was two images this month and you picked one of them. And uh, I, I love this too. So I'm, um, I acquiesce yeah. to your choice <laughs> because this is fantastic. Thank you. This Thank is tiny, you. It's... tiny epic photos. Uh, this is Dan Leonard also over in the UK. Go for it. He does awesome job all, all around. He has one head of an account. He does awesome work. I love here the story, basically the lighting. You don't know whether he's going to commit seppuku or he's out on a mission or what's going on. Right. But there's something going on in the story there. I love the the lighting position and where he's at. It's it's focused. It's it's just beautiful, Sean. Man, I like the contrast and the the light and the dark. It's yeah. just I had a one head of a shot. The detail in this, like even mm -hmm. in the background the window, like you could have gotten away with just the floor and a window, a simple dojo looking place, but he's got a bow back there. He's got a, a period looking chest. I, I don't know if that came with the figure, this whole setup in front. I don't know if that's something. He, did that come he, with this it, figure? I, I don't know, but the bow, I think so. Cause he uses it in game. And the swords, most likely the 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 China. I don't know, but that's uh -huh. an extreme set. That's a, the cardboard ones. I think that he yeah. Used for that. And extreme he wants to set, cut out yeah. the window, or the windows? Do they pop I, out? I don't know on those. I know. I've man, seen a bunch look, of people cutting the windows out on those things, like and using they look them, and they pretty, work really well. They look pretty good. I don't know if they were cut out, but it look it works fantastic. Yeah. By the so way, if you, a, haven't, uh, if you haven't played this game. And I know you've been gawking about Blue-Eyed Samurai. You yeah, have to play this game, dude. I know. You have I to. Know. You have to. It's Ghost of I just, Tsushima. I know. I just got a PlayStation 5. I just got Spider-Man. I, I haven't even I haven't even 
gotten very far in Spider-Man and I'm already like, I want to play Baldur's Gate three. And I love, I've always wanted to play this game. Um, so it's I, I platinum, very few games in my lifetime. God of War is one. This is the second one. It's that okay. good, man. It's, uh, you'll yeah, love I it. love this era. I, I can't wait for Shogun to come on. The new version of Shogun. Looks yeah, the FX show. Yeah. It looks pretty good. Yeah. I love this. Uh, he did this in black and white too, which is also yeah, gorgeous. There's, yeah. I think there's a BTS, uh, I believe. So. Look at that. Yeah, there we yeah, go. Yeah, that floor, like he got. I love these people who get so much great. Oh my God, are those just cardboard? Oh no, okay, they have some dimension to them. Yeah, it's a dojo diorama from the extreme sets, but mm -hmm. I think he put a lot of the stuff in the. Look how tight he's got that macro oh, lens right there. Man. Very tight <laughs> shot. I don't. I don't even. Shoot I thought I shot stuff. up close. <laughs> I don't shoot that close. Damn, man. <laughs> But I like it because I love the distortion he's getting in it. Yeah. And the fact that everything looks, you know, like it's kind of uh, pinning around this window where, where all your light is coming from, but you're not really focused on that, even it's though it's like, yeah. uh, God, it's, it's gorgeous, man. This it is, is gorgeous absolutely shot, stunning shot. Uh, so congrats, Dan. It's fantastic. He does, he does um, a good job all around every so he yeah. works in the film industry i know he's a he's a lighting i think he's either a lighting or he is a cinematographer um so he knows his stuff too uh this was one i was going to pick of his uh that i love from this month just like just i mean very clean you know what i mean it's just a beautiful clean shot of a a, a fun cartoon you know uh toy man it's it's great mario who goes like mario um, and this was the other one that I contemplated. Uh, I saw that one. Yeah, I had to. Yeah, this was really cool. List. But I actually but, like yours, um, the one you picked, the best out of everything. Uh, but man, he doesn't really miss. <laughs> he doesn't really miss. No, it's it could, it's it could have been any one of those. Honestly, you know, it's easily. Yeah, he kind of. Uh, I I I I, I, I like love him, and then I see his stuff. It's not the great force unleashed, on that. The Force Unleashed, unleashed one on top. Uh, oh, here, this one? That one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's cool. That's pretty yeah, cool. it's... I, I mean, I love his work. I see it and I go, damn it. Damn it, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me want to shoot. And then I'm like, ah, but it's not going to be as good as this. This is great. Look at that. Awesome. Yeah, he's... He's very good. He knows his stuff. Uh, yeah. I, I remember this shot from ACBA. This is incredible. This got all sorts of accolades. I remember that. It's a really good setup. His angles are fantastic. His lighting is fantastic. Um, again, any of and again, he's another one. Yeah. Variety of of figures and and um, setups and stuff. Uh, it's great. Excellent stuff. Tiny Epic Photos, Dan Leonard. Definitely go check out. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's a filmmaker mm -hmm. and animator. That's right. Uh, he's an animator too. So he knows he knows what he's doing. He knows his stuff. Yeah. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> That's right. Um, all right. The next one, I think that was your pick. So yes. This sir. one is mine. And this uh this guy, you know, he's an up and comer. Um, I can see him going going some places. It's a good name, plastic action i think it is i think that's how you pronounce that that's uh you know <laughs> this <laughs> is of course it. jack navarro <laughs> with the uh, you know hundreds of thousands of followers yeah, follows, um yeah. you know i mean he could be in this every month obviously yeah. there are just some accounts you know uh, bananas and, and everything that could be in here every month but i you know we try to spread it around and stuff but there every once in a while i mean all his stuff is great we'll take a look at it in a minute but every once in a while i'll see something that just this epitomizes, uh, I think, the things he does. He does stop motion animation, which is incredible. If you haven't seen it, you got to look at mm -hmm. it. Um, but he motion at this point. You know, he knows, you know, how a punch is thrown, how somebody's running, how somebody's jumping, how somebody's dunking a ball. Uh, and I just loved the action on this. The little, you know, the sweat and the spittle sweat, yeah. coming off of here in the perfect uh, spray. I the love the BTS. He was like a. I love all the uh, street fighters in the background. <laughs> you yeah. know, he's always got these his characters in the background. Um, 
but yeah, just a great, like even the stance, the, the foot forward between the, the legs and punching. It's just really good. Uh, yeah. That's great too. <laughs> I didn't see this one actually. I didn't yeah, it reminds me of Tyson's punch out the little video game. You know, that's the, exactly. That one's nice. That's great. Wow. Fantastic. There you go. There's your spray. That's it. That's, a, that's it. <laughs> and then cleanup comes. Yep. Yeah. But this, this first shot in particular, I just, I just really love the light. He's got the lighting. He's got the, you know, this totally looks like it's in an arena, um, you know, lit from those overhead lights and it's just great. I mean, all the thing is he's got these little, he's got a great spray bottle. I'm not sure if it's the one he did there or if he just used that for the spray, but you could see like the tiny droplets, like they're all in scale. You know what it I mean? It has to like, be that mist, be, yeah. Mm -hmm. You got to get that real fine mist. And when you do it too much, when you're trying to get the shot, and you're trying yeah. to get it right, and it starts, to, they start to pull start up. Into, like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, damn it, I got to clean it now. So, um, But yeah, Jax, I mean... You know what can I say? Uh, I did he's one doing shot it. once he's... doing that, and nobody caught it. And uh, it's a it's one of the Warhammer shots I did. In the forehead, it's all sweaty, and I did it with a miss so finely that nobody caught it. And uh, oh, really? It was too fine for anybody to see it. Yeah, yeah. He... <laughs> but it looked good. Uh, if you know it's there, it looks like oh, true. it looks because the droplets were very very minuscule, so it worked out. But nobody noticed. So yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah it's you do it for yourself too sometimes yeah people people always miss those details that you put into them you know those little fine details i like it when somebody points that stuff out um but yeah i mean Jax is 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 you know he's doing it for yeah. espn and stuff and and promotion promotional stuff he's 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 in the workplace as well doing this stuff and it's all great custom pieces and uh custom sets uh just amazing stuff and again Stop motion. If you haven't seen a stop motion, um, here you go. Uh, well, this is him doing it. You can watch that, but like I'm trying to find one where he actually he did one animated from it. 11, I think, from Stranger Things. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. This, this one. Mm -hmm. There you go. Look at that. Great. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> incredible motion man this i don't yeah. think i have the patience for that but it's uh yeah it's 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 cool stuff uh i've seen a lot a lot of people doing it um recently getting into it and i, I want to try it i definitely want to try it beautiful stuff i mean yeah, come on. i mean if you're not following jacks already i don't know what you're doing with your life but uh plastic action if you're not go follow him what else can you say um okay we are down to the last final three. And these are in no particular order. So nobody's, again, it's no winners. Everybody's a winner here. Um, all right. This is another cool one. And I'm glad you picked because I was going to pick it as well. Go for it. This is uh, my favorite. I, I mean, I think it's, you picked this one, I believe. Yeah. Didn't you? I think so. Yeah, but either, either maybe way. We both, maybe we both picked it and I it, left yeah. it in and I thought it was yours. <laughs> but either way. We're both talking about it, so I don't know who picked it. Who cares? You're in. You this is it. in my lighting department. I love it. Yeah, it's you know dark, yeah. but you see everything. And he highlighted the parts that needed to be highlighted: the eyes and the dots in the yep. and the gas tanks on the side and the background. I think it's a it's one of those dioramas. I think so. Yeah, it's, the yeah the thumb killers. It, it passes for a one six scale for even yep. for a one one. It looks like a you know, like a movie still or a promo shot yep. for a poster of a movie. It's very sure well lit. Yeah. So it's yeah good Ziri shot. is uh, one of my favorite cosmic figures. And this, this was oh, just yeah. really, really so well done. Um, the eyes in particular, the post yeah. work that he did in the eyes to give them a glossy, glassy yeah, that's the thing. look. They look alien. It doesn't look like, you know, they're just shining. It, it looks, it looks yes. alien. It, it looks pretty yeah. cool. This is one of those things where like I'd be tempted to bring out details, but you don't need to. Like it's all yeah. there. You can see what's going on. You know that there's a hand there. See, you don't need to see. He's controlling what you want, it. what he wants you to see, the eyes and the forehead, and the rest is just, you know. That's it. 
but highest it's point of contrast really right yeah. here. This mm -hmm. is where your eye goes, and and she she draws you in. I mean, the stare draws you in, and it, it's largely due. I think I think the the figure would have stood on its own, but I really think that these. Uh, I'm going to say those might be post catch lights. I don't know. Those are, if those are catch lights, those are really, yeah. Really fun. Um, but the, I definitely post work on the eye to give it that glossy look and really well done with that. Mm -hmm. That makes well done, this yeah. photo, I think. Uh, and I like the, also the way that he frames these and pops out. I love that too. Yeah. With that. Mm -hmm. He does yeah, that in friends, every photo, yeah. just about every photo. I think every photo, uh, it's, it's his style. It's his signature thing. Um, and again, he does a lot of light shadow stuff, you know what I mean? Where you can still make out the shape, but you don't see, you know, every, yeah. every detail of the figure. Um, but it's still just beautifully done. Um, and he changes it up every once in a while, but, uh, yeah, I really love his, his stuff. Um, so this is CB FX toys, some cinema, cinemagraphic type stuff here too. Um, that's not even a word. <laughs> Just made that up. I love that. And gorgeous. sign it and sell it. It's, it's fantastic. Right? Totally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got to get back to shooting those guys too. Those guys are great. But yeah, I mean, just everything. Wow. Look at that. Talk about just enough that you nice. need to see mm -hmm. to know what's going on. You know, incredible. Really incredible. Uh, I missed that one. Good, good stuff. That is CB FX Toys. Uh, always killing it with this stuff. And again, lots of different, another another uh, great cosmic shot too. That was another yeah. one I thought about for sure. I'm, I like to see him getting into uh, the cosmic legions. That's cool. I, I can't wait to see more of that stuff from him. All right. We're down to the last two here, kids. Um um this was my pick but again who cares <laughs> now another guy who has just been racking him up and this was another tough pick uh could have been a couple of shots from him um from the last month but this one in particular stood out for for several reasons so this is first strike figs this is josh hagan this is nuts. <laughs> this yeah. is it's manga nuts. meets Dungeons and Dragons. So yeah. It's so. such a great mashup. <laughs> yeah. And this is like it's the eye, it's the uh it's the beholder. And the beholder, yeah. But these but these tentacles don't have anything to do with the beholder. They're just no, those, those you can buy on, on Amazon for five dollars, yeah. yeah. Right, exactly. They're the little finger yeah. tentacles that you can buy. Uh, but man, if it doesn't feel like those are things are, are coming from that character and just using yeah. it as just generic monster with the Chainsaw Man, uh, which I haven't seen yet. I, I, I do plan it's on watching it at some point. good, yeah. Uh, it's violent as hell. Well, it's fun, isn't it? Yeah, entertaining. Sure. Oh, I can't imagine with a guy who has chainsaws. Yeah, so, yeah. I'm um, not into that. I just love the lighting of What's that? Yeah, it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty good, man. The lighting, yeah. man. Uh, the lighting is beautiful. I mean, the lighting coming from the back there behind him, just that that glow, uh, and then hitting everything else. I just I love the colors that it creates on this beholder. I like the uh, pose in the mouth and in the and the eyes. Yeah, the drooling. I mean, I think he's yeah. using a little bit of uh either. I don't think this is post. This looks like he did this with some uh, hot glue, right? I mean, it, it looks really good. Like he did a great job with it, but it looks like he used a little hot glue. Uh, well, it's catching the light, so yeah, I think so. I think you're yeah, right. it's there, man. That's not post work. I don't think that's that's actually that's awesome <laughs> for sure. Very cool. Yeah. Um. Yeah, uh, it was this one. This one uh, made it into the uh, the Toy Daddy's top ten. This is an incredible shot as well. Um, That's a nice shot, you know, yeah. just the digital background. Um, this one was great. Love the Spidey and and uh, Batman, Frank Miller tribute. Really, yeah. really cool. I love that. This scene. was the other one. This was the other one that I thought Cloak about. I, yeah. You don't see Cloak and Dagger all that often anymore. Not much. No. <laughs> and uh, I actually liked this book when it first came out. I thought it was a really cool idea. And this, he My brother was it. a big fan and of those, of uh, Cloak and Dagger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great concept. Great, great concept. 
um yeah this was this is a beautiful shot and he did he did some yeah. great post work on this i mean this is straight from the comic book really really good um you know he's got the 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 pink skulls doing a little red death there that was great love it that looks nice yeah yeah he's great man he's he does mini mates <laughs> mini mates is something i never tried to shoot <clears throat> it was an account that did nothing but mini mates for a long time that i was was amazing like they did incredible uh comic book scenes with mini mates yeah there's, uh, there's a guy i follow that does star wars stuff with legos and it's fantastic oh so, uh brick panda or uh somebody else i don't know uh, okay it's there's a lot of great lego yeah. accounts that are mm -hmm. just unbelievable yeah I got to get some Lego stuff in here. I think we've had a couple Lego pictures in the in the monthly. Yeah, there, there are a lot of there's a lot of great work out there for Lego people mm -hmm. with Legos. So uh, that's one yeah, that's rabbit hole I'm not going down. <laughs> no, I tried it for a while. I got to tell you, they're a, they're kind of a pain in the ass to deal with. <laughs> Honestly, they're really they fall over a lot. Uh, they're very shiny. Uh, you got to nice do a lot shot. of post work with Lego to make them work. Yeah, this is yeah fantastic. The tone on this is beautiful. That's it's really, good. really nice. Did not see that shot. That's good. There's cool. There's bones and then snow hidden. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. Also doing some great shots with this figure, too. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Congrats, Josh. Uh, first strike figs. Go follow him. And our final, uh, last but certainly not least, um, <laughs> two times. Two-time champion, uh, and well, returning champion anyway, returning winner, or returning selection—I don't know, whatever—and also uh, co-hosted with me on on the show, uh, and was just on us with the one six-pack. This is nuts. Yeah. It's visual underscore approach underscore photo. It's Sean Canary, uh, my buddy, who's just making it look easy. It's a good and, guy. Uh, it's not <laughs> what he's doing here. Incredible. Like painted yeah. up this, uh, this AT, at go for it, man. It's the, incredible. There's nothing digital here except the lightsaber. The rest is, yep. you know, practical shot. Guess perfect angle. Uh, the, the, there's in the BTS how he incorporates the rock into the matte painting in the back. You'll see it. So he yeah, literally amazing. took the time to do the detail to imitate the rock. And it's uh, what can I say, man? It's just something yeah, else his, entirely. Yeah, he his rock work park. kills me, man. I want. I yeah. just want him to take. I told him I got. I'll pay him to make me a mountain. I just want. No, him but him. the attention to detail. You can see he he did the rock exactly how it's in the. So it would meld into mm -hmm. the shot. It's just mm -hmm. yep. wonderful, man. I think I that's the that background he used on the Conan and Predator shot too. And what kills me so. is it's a paper, it's a paper printout. Like he's just it printing is, out yeah. these things. And to get, I don't know if he extended it a little bit in the front there. Uh, I guess not. Maybe he just moved it back or moved it. I don't know up, but it it covers it. And the light is perfect. The way, and I love. I mean, he's following the light that's in the the, yeah. the background that he's got here, but it works so perfectly uh, for this shot. It feels it feels like video game Star Wars. You know what I mean? It feels yeah. like Star Wars, but it just feels it's so crisp and clean. It's and the fact that he used different crazy, scales yeah. for the stormtroopers all the way back. You know, he's got some three and three quarter guys back here in front of. That this is the way to go, shoot. man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You want to create depth? That's the. Um, that's the uh what is it called uh hyper reel vader yeah and yeah, the uh, hyper reel and the, but i mean uh, the vintage in the back but look how well that blends i mean this guy's yeah. right behind him but that feels like he's about you know 10 feet behind him you know what i mean mm -hmm. right behind him and he's literally on his cape um this is the way you do force perspective <clears throat> kids this is it this is a uh, no stacking a no in... nothing this is just nope. one shot this that's yep. it. I mean, if you had all these guys the same size, you would never get the depth. You would never sell the size of this ATAT -AT because you can see the size of it in comparison to the figures. It looks big. You're going to get it. But the fact that these guys in the back here are three and three quarter figs next to this thing just sells the whole thing. You know what I mean? It feels like that's about 50 feet behind Vader and huge. It's incredible.
Yeah. And I, I and I thought I had a huge thinking process and OCD, but I Sean most likely took his sweet time thinking this one out, playing with the Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. It's cause it's you know, it's a, I'd rather do at, one shot one shot a month that do twenty and just come up with this, basically. It's one hell of yeah. a shot. Yeah, exactly. That's it's quality over quantity. Um mm-hmm. I love that he's just got this. I don't know where this, I don't know where that light's hitting. I have to ask him. Maybe, oh, maybe to get a little bit of a, a rim on, on Vader's on the helmet there. Just the, get a little, yeah, the yeah. troopers. Because he's got, or you got, he's already got it bouncing. Well, so he he's has, getting a little bit yeah. of light on him there. But this is it. I mean, I, I, I bet he's, I mean, he's using a table lamp. Um, I think he's keeping the overhead lights on whatever he's got on in the room, uh, the ambient light. And that's it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's, it's just, it's just <clears> well <throat> thought out. For all the it's people well, out there, this this gives well hope added. to track to people who want to do practical shots. So with this, you, yep. you you can do it. You can do it. You know. Yeah. It's it's yeah. It's there, man. It's it's just. I did one shot a long time ago with a friend's Millennium Falcon, the the vintage collection, with a vintage collection three PO back by the Falcon. Mm-hmm. And then uh, some black series figures up in front, but I mean, not that much closer, you know what I mean? And it, it's such a great way to get um, that you forced perspective two, with the. I remember you did two, you did one with a Darth Vader helmet, and then you used the black series classic Star Wars on the Macquarie. And oh yeah, yeah, they, that one too. Yeah, that's true. That was another one. With force perspective. And you did yeah, that's true, yeah. with the uh, Leia Han hot toys, and then underneath you had the. Those yeah, are, that was a little more designy, you know. Like it, I wasn't trying to make it look but, like uh, one was, but like the way he's doing here is making using the black series and the mm-hmm. the vintage to give it the. You know, you feel like they're all the same size. Those guys are just. 40 feet behind these guys and it's it's amazing that they're just yeah inches. it gives a uh, <laughs> inches it sells the illusion of an army basically that it's marching toward yeah it's, it's, yeah this is incredible um i don't think there's I much mean, to say <laughs> much more. yeah i think this is i don't know maybe this isn't the same background it does yeah no i think it is yeah uh, but man i mean he makes it work every time and it doesn't look like the same i use you know, the same dios over and over again, and I try to always make them look a little different, but it's hard. You know what I mean? No, I'm forced uh, but he made all these dio. rocks. You know? I'm forced to use dio with the type of photography I do because I get too much glare out of uh, out of a monitor, oh, yeah? even with filters on it. Yeah, I don't like it, and it doesn't capture the texture on the white depth of field when I do the photography, so it, I can understand it, that. it'll look like a plain flat background. I know people do an yeah. excellent job hiding it, but no, it doesn't work for me. Yeah, I find the trick to that is you've <clears throat> got to use, I try to keep it, I say this all the time, I try to keep it to about 30% max of the shot. So I'm going to yeah. have something in front of it. The way Sean did with his mountain and with the, obviously, the uh, the the ATAT taking over a huge uh, part of that, um, you've got to have something and just like let like some clouds show through or something like that. Yeah, there's ways to block that glare. With, you know what I mean? And with the, long, with the long exposure, even if it's a minimum, minimum, can't do it. Of, that's it, true. Take it in. It'll take it in. That's it, true. It gives it like a bounce from the back and it, it I can't use it. That's true. That's true. 30 so seconds. I yes. Buy, I yeah, you can't do that with 30 kids. seconds. So I got to buy diorama kits. So sorry. It's expensive. I mean, I suppose if you so. put, the brightness super low got yourself a a uh a, a, a circular polarizer filter to cut down the light and <laughs> let it go for 30 yeah, seconds you should try that just yeah. see what it happens don't don't, don't get my ocd trevor please uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh sean's always killing it with these dios man yeah. he kills me this is another thing that he built and he and he works uh, his dios it's, it's the other thing man it's just mm-hmm. Yeah, this 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 thing was insane. This this hanger that he built, and he's done a lot of stuff with that too. Again, forced perspective here. You got some black series in front. Mm-hmm. You got some vintage in the back, and I think this is one of the uh, Jada the, the micro small ones. Uh, yeah the yeah. Jada <laughs> micro galaxy. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Yep, absolutely perfect. Yeah, I mean, come on, what can I say? Again, if you're not following Sean, 
What are you doing with your life? Uh, visual underscore approach underscore photo. Congrats again, Sean, for another uh, selection. Congrats to us for uh, getting through this thing. Uh, 18, I think 18 or 19 photos, man. We did it. We did it. Yeah, we did it. Record time. Uh, yeah, that's true. We got it at 8.30, so that was a two-hour show. That's pretty good. Not too yep. bad. Not too bad. Uh, what's up, Penrock? What's going on? Another guy who's been in this before. Uh, and Crane, yeah, incredible. Yeah, uh, such insane shot. Yeah, it is incredible. Uh, amazing shot. Um, there it is. What do you got going on, man? Tell us about uh, what do you got coming up? Anything? Any shots you got coming up? Yeah, I'm working on coming? a... I got something from Megacom that I'm going to work at Dr. Doom shot. I think you'll probably like this. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, that throne. I, I was oh, looking man. for the perfect throne, and I found it. So this is a McFarlane Toys Conan of Aquilonia throne. So if you it has did you get that at the show? Yeah, I got it at the show. I was looking for it purposely, and I went up to different vendors and I pinpointed one down and I got it there. Did you and have I to buy it in box, it. or did you found a, or did you find? No, it I bought. I have the Conan and everything. It was brand sealed and everything, so I got it for like sixty bucks. So it's not bad for. Dude, uh, that's an excellent price. Yeah. I paid over hundred bucks for that thing. Could no, not wait. They were it. all going for like 180 bucks. It was nuts at one point. Wow, that's incredible. But I'm going to, with the Crash Box Customs, uh, uh, one of the dioramas, and a whole lot of props from Mesco and everything. So, Oh, nice. With the windows, the stained glass windows yeah, or whatever. Some light coming that through, work. and I'll yeah, work the magic, and know. hopefully you guys nice. will like it. So. Awesome. If awesome. not, I'll like Great. it. So. <laughs> yeah, if not, who cares? No, I'm yeah. sure we'll like it. Yeah um yeah once again if you're uh not already go follow alberto uh noir kaiser effects i should have your banner up here all the whole time i didn't want to no, stream i wanted meant to put it up but uh there he is uh noir kaiser effects also listed in the uh description down below if you want to just click on it and be lazy you can click on <laughs> it there if you like the show uh let us know in the comments if there are somebody that you'd like us to take a look at let me know in the comments. I will happily be following some new accounts, man. I want to see some new stuff. I want to be introduced to some new people that I'm not following or haven't seen for a while or saw in passing. Um, so yeah, let me know who it is. And uh, there you go. Absolutely. Thanks, Nate. Um, that's it. We will be back uh, next month. I'll have another uh, toy photographer guest. Uh, it's a good one. They're all good. They're all good. I only picked the best. Um, Thank you. <laughs> uh, so that'll probably be, I think, on the fourth or fifth of next month. So look, uh, you know, hit that bell down there to be notified when things are coming on. Um, Legion's Lounge coming up next week, next Monday. And, uh, you know, look for some other stuff. I might be doing some reviews and some behind the scenes shoots. I'm, I'm, I'm firing on all cylinders right now. So yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. All right, guys. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, Alberto, thank you very much for taking your time to do all this. And uh, no, thank you for having me. Man. It was a pleasure. Absolutely. All right. Good night, guys. Later, guys. Thank you.